don't mind no crazy, I'm Obama, ayy I condone the drama, ayy I told him I'm a gunner, ayy Do you need pajamas, yeah Staying in like, girl, you promised it I hide in the cave like Osama did I'm rolling a bag in the diamond district Hi guys, I'm Angelise, welcome back to another video. I decided to do a Q&A. I know like people usually do like Q&As as like their first video, but me, I just ain't do it as my first video, but I'm better late than never, now I'm doing it. So yeah, you guys just asked a couple questions, you know, trying to get to know me. So I'm gonna just be answering them. Why do I talk like moving my head? Like, girl. Like but yeah, I'm just going to be answering you guys' questions. Let's get into it. Where are you from? I am from New York. I currently don't live in New York, but I'm from New York. Was well, Spanish your first language or English? Spanish is my first language. I am Dominican, so Spanish is my first language. How was it growing up in New York? It was fun. I literally loved growing up in New York. I had like all my cousins around me, all my family. And if you know me, I like to be around family and stuff. So growing up in New York, I just felt like home. Cause you know, it was home. You know, having the little bodega to go to, with my little bike, my little scooters, and then just chilling outside of like my grandma's crib, like her apartment, just having the park right there. Like I literally lived right up the street from the park. Like I just loved growing up in New York. What is your hidden talent? I don't think I have a hidden talent. Like, I just don't think I do. But I do be feeling like I know how to sing. I don't think I do, but I low-key do. I'm gonna really start telling people that my hidden talent is singing because I don't know how to sing, but that's my hidden talent. I don't care what nobody sings because, you know, I'm really that girl. <laughs> what do you enjoy doing in your free time? In my free time, I mean, I always have free time. <laughs> so in my free time, a lot of times I just like to just chill in my crib, literally always in my crib. And if I'm not, like, I'll just go out, grab something to eat, get, like, a couple things that I need, and, yeah, just chill. I don't really do much in my free time. What's your plans after graduating? After graduating, my plans are to obviously go to college. And I'm just thinking about being a, I said, like, labor and delivery nurse, but I'm not really sure. But anything that involves, like, taking care of kids taking care of like babies or anything i'm all for it who's your favorite sister i really don't have a favorite sister like back then i used to say like it was my older sister so i always said like oh yeah my favorite one is my my older sister and then that changed that's the like oh no it's the other one so i will always like switch but i don't do that anymore i don't really don't have a favorite sister would you move to atlanta my all my grandmother live in atlanta so i visit atlanta i don't think i will ever move there but i like it over there it's chill what part of the are you from? I am not from Dominican Republic. What's your favorite thing about being Dominican? My favorite thing about being Dominican is our music, the way that like, you know, we dance. I mean, don't come to me about dancing, but you know, the way that we dance, our food, um, the way that we talk, I just like everything about being Dominican. If you could go back, will you have stayed to live in NYC? Um no no like to be honest when i first moved from new york i did not want to leave because i was already like used to being there i liked being there and then like when i left it was chill for like you know the first few months and then after a while like i'm like oh my god like what is this like i want to go back i want to see my family like i just wanted to leave again i'm like no i don't want to stay here yeah i kind of grew out of that already i like being in new york i like visiting but as far as moving back I don't think I would. What's your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve is liars. I hate people that lie to me because I don't really be lying. Like, you know, like, I feel like if I have the chance to tell the truth, I'm going to tell the truth. I'm not saying that I don't lie at all, but, like, in reality, I just always be honest with people. So, my biggest pet peeve is liars. I just don't like when people lie to me. I don't like catching people in a lie either because then now I'm going to look at you differently because why are you even lying? Like, that's OD. How tall are you and what is your shoe size? I am 5'1 and my shoe size is 5'5. Five five. Would you ever do a collab with other YouTubers? Yes, I would do a collab with other YouTubers. Like if I ever gets to that point, yeah, I won't mind. But hopefully I find people that do YouTube as well and then like, you know, from there we can have a little friendship and stuff because I need friends. Psych. <laughs> would you have a meet and greet? um i literally never thought about that but 
I probably would. I mean, if y'all want to see me, y'all can see me. Single. Family single. Oh no. <laughs> Psych. Um, yes, I'm single. Who's the biggest influence in your life? The biggest influence in my life, I'll say, is my older sister, Ravani. Because when I look back to like who helped me, she's like literally the only one I could really like think of. Ravani like helped me along the way with everything and like I feel like she was just there for everything, like anything that involved like school if i went to school if i didn't like my awards my grades like she really cared about everything like she cares about like what college i'm going to and like she's helping me along the way she's just always there and she's like someone that i will always run to like to just tell anything to and she graduated college already and like she's pursuing her career and she's already getting started on like things that she want to do in life i definitely like just look up to her i'll say my older sister is my biggest influence do you speak fluent Spanish? I don't speak like a straight up Dominican, like fluent, fluent like that, but I could definitely speak Spanish. Like, I bet you if I speak Spanish to you right now, you understand me. Because people be trying to play with me. Like, don't play with me. I know how to speak Spanish. Just not like Matt fluent though. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I'm sure you understand me. Favorite thing about yourself? Mmm. -hmm. My favorite thing about myself is just how i am like the type of heart that i have i feel like i care a lot about people and i feel like i'm just always there for other people does my personality in general like that's my favorite thing about myself how do you deal with insecurities if you have any i have a couple insecurities not gonna lie but i don't really like deal with insecurities i'm starting to like, be more open about my insecurities but the thing about that like i'll have like a couple insecurities and then it's like other people tell me like oh like you're bugging there's nothing really wrong with you like blah blah so that did kind of really help me like loosen up a little bit what would you tell your 10 year old self i would tell my 10 year old self i would tell her to like not let people walk all over her because definitely back then i used to let people like just talk to me however they want to and like just run all over me and just say whatever they want to say to me and i never used to like talk back not saying like talking back is a good thing but if you feel a type of way like just say how you feel and back then like i used to always just not tell people how i feel i would just tell myself back then don't let people walk all over you and just say what you gotta say what's your favorite store to shop for clothes i mostly go like online shopping but like in person i still be shopping at like like h&m i literally like h&m they still be having my cute little sweatpants and shirts and stuff and like hollister i like getting like jeans from hollister and that's about it and then online like i'll be shopping on like sheen and like pretty little things and stuff would you move if you could yes if i had a chance to move like right now i would definitely move but you know everything takes time but i just really just don't want to stay where i'm at i never liked it here and i just never like fully got comfortable here you know like when you move to another state and like you just get comfortable there like you it's like that's it like it's home to you like where i'm at doesn't feel like home to me like i never felt like i was at home i just want to move somewhere else i'm just looking for like that feeling where like i just feel at home and the state where i'm in i just never felt that way i just don't like being here what is something about yourself that you think makes people like you friend wise or media Mm, i'll say again just my personality like, i feel like that's what makes people like me just the way that i am i'm just always there for people like if you need me you could call me anytime it was like four or five six in the morning and you call me i'm answering the phone like i'm just always there for people and like i'm just good vibes like i feel like i'm just a good person to be around i like to joke around i like to laugh i just like to have a good time and then media i don't know what makes y'all like me i never asked people that i mean people are just now starting to get to know me because now i'm doing youtube so i feel like through pictures and stuff like that people can't really know you so i don't know are you the type of person to give second chances i do believe that i'm the type of person to give second chances it just definitely depends like what it is i'm not gonna just give you a second chance just to give you a second chance like it just really depends because there's some things where it doesn't deserve a second chance it's just like you know just one and done that's it but there's other things where it's like okay you know i understand this i understand that so i'm gonna give you a second chance like you gotta see like if a situation is worth a second chance and if it's not worth a second chance and you believe it's not worth a second chance then no what made you want to start youtube well my sister had always done youtube she's been doing youtube for a while 
and she would tell me herself like oh like start using youtube like you should do youtube but i just never wanted to like the main reason why is because i was just very insecure back then like i was dealing with a lot of insecurities like a lot a lot a lot of insecurities like i never really wanted to be on camera never really liked to show my face like that like I was just really insecure only i know like how insecure i was like it may not seem like i was but i really was after a while when i just learned to just stop really caring what people think and just stop getting in my own head then i just felt comfortable and then i was like in the right state of mind definitely like back then i really wasn't but then when i got myself together and i started like you know being happier and just felt like myself again then i was just like oh let me just do youtube so when i got myself together I decided like okay I think YouTube is a good thing because people been asking me for years like to start YouTube like oh when are you gonna do YouTube when are you gonna do YouTube and I always said like oh no I'm just not gonna do it but now I'm here <laughs> what keeps you going doing what you gotta do what keeps me going is definitely like God's words I watched this one woman on YouTube it's like Sarah I think her name is Sarah and she just preaches about God so like I would just like go and I would, I'll go on YouTube and I'll just like watch her videos and stuff like that and I would feel just at ease. What's the longest relationship you've been in? Uh, the longest relationship I've been in is a year. I've been in two relationships and they both have been a year long. I don't make it past a year. But it's not me though. <laughs> Do you feel like you're a relationship type of person? yes i feel like i am a relationship type of person i love everything by relationships like just having someone like to call and like just tell all your problems to like apart from like the family because you know sometimes you just want like an escape from what's going on in your life and i feel like you know having someone there for you that you could just call and like just tell things to i feel like that's important and that's what i like like i like just having someone like to talk to because I just always been needing someone that's awesome. I don't feel like I'm a relationship type. I'm not really controlling anything. It's <laughs> so, like, I really am not a controlling type. I really let you do what you gotta do. Like, if you wanna go here, you wanna go there, you wanna travel, you wanna do this, you wanna do that, go ahead. Just respect me. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be out here doing no dumb shit. And yeah, I just like to have a good time. Just doing fun things. How old are you? I am 17 years old. Have you ever been to the yard? No, I have never been to the yard like that's crazy i was supposed to go last this summer and last summer and i don't know what happened first of all i don't even got my passport like let's talk about that first like, but i've never been to the yard i'm definitely thinking about going for my next birthday like that's the plan to go even though in that month of me like there's gonna be a lot of things going on but hopefully i could go on my birthday even if i don't go on my birthday just in the summer in general just I just hope I go to the yard because how am I Dominican and never been to the yard? Like, that's crazy. And then my sister been before and she loved it over there. She talks about it all the time. You getting any tattoos? No. The girls break. <laughs> i'm not thinking about getting any tattoos i used to say like i don't like tattoos well for me i don't like tattoos for me personally like no i just don't really want to get tattoos i just don't want to mark my body i mean you never know because i'll say no now but you never know in the future but as of now i just don't plan on getting any tattoos how many boyfriends do you have i had two boyfriends how many siblings do you have i have seven siblings i have four brothers and three sisters do you have a relationship with god yes i definitely have a relationship with god i like i'm working on my relationship with god you know every day i'm definitely not perfect but the goal is definitely like to just continue to get closer to god because that's really my main focus in life i really don't care about nothing else like if i don't have a relationship with god i'm nothing it's just me and god right now if you could move anywhere, where would it be? Definitely PA or Virginia. I just like it over there. So definitely those are just one of my two options, Virginia or PA, because I've been there and I like the vibes. I really like seeing myself living there. That's the plan. But you never know, who knows? I probably would stay here, but that's not really a plan, but you never really know. Whatever God wants for me is what he wants for me. So I could say plans all I want, but if it's just meant for me to stay here, then 
it is what it is do you think you're mature for your age i definitely do feel like i'm mature for my age a couple people tell me that too i feel like i'm just not like a childish ass teenager like there's just so many people like my age that just acts childish they don't know how to handle situations and they think like everything is just all jokes and ah, everything's so funny no i don't be having my signs of course everybody it's not like i take everything mad serious but i think i am mature like anybody my age even older than me i'll be handling these situations way better than them so i do believe that i'm mature for my age as i should be i should die out of no fear soon so you look forward into going to college yes i look forward to going to college i just came back from a college trip i went to virginia for like three days i filmed that but i didn't at the same time like i barely filmed anything like i was there for three days and i only recorded for like two and i didn't even record like everything but that's another story i literally loved it over there yeah i visited a couple of colleges over there and i liked it there's one that i really 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 liked and i'm really thinking about going there but like i said i don't really know let's see what the future holds for me but i liked it i like that college i'm really thinking about going to college in virginia hopefully that does happen if it doesn't it's okay it just wasn't meant to be what's your dream job my dream just my nose is kind of red because i keep messing with it with the itches my dream job is definitely just working with babies or like toddlers kids i just really like kids i always like kids um so i feel like if i was to work in a field that has anything to do with just kids and taking care of them i think i will personally enjoy that that's my dream job to just take care of kids favorite song at the moment i don't really have a favorite song at the moment but any way but your song is my favorite song period favorite sport my favorite sport is volleyball i have well i haven't really played like basketball but i'll just go to practice and stuff like that they didn't allow me to play basketball because i didn't get my vaccine and um, all this other stuff i wasn't officially on the team just because of that but i did start to like grow into liking basketball i do like basketball i like playing i also like softball we didn't really have a team because it got canceled for something but my favorite favorite one is definitely volleyball i love volleyball favorite show my favorite show is the office <laughs> i watch so many shows to be honest i really don't know but it's i feel like it's probably like the office like i don't care what nobody say people can say oh the office why the office this the office that i don't care i really like the office like i feel like it's just a funny ass show like i feel like people a lot of people that say they don't like it like half of them didn't even give it a chance and i literally was one of those like persons like i would see like the preview of it and i'm like bro this show looks so corny like you know what i'm saying so one day i don't know i literally was like oh i have nothing to watch let me just watch it and i literally loved it it's so funny to me i like it so i feel like my favorite show is the office so that concludes this video i hope i got to everybody's questions i think i did and hopefully i learned something from this video like maybe i learned so much but definitely along the way y'all would just get to know me more thank you for watching and thank you so much for 2000 subscribers i will see you guys in the next one